let me tell you something you may not know about how the actor Robin Williams was mistreated by the Walt Disney Corporation when he lent his talents and voice to the character of the genie in the hit movie Aladdin. Robin Williams wanted to make a movie his three young children would enjoy. The genie was only supposed to be a minor part in the movie. But Robin Williams' amazing humor and rapid-fire voice made him the star of the show. The film itself was magical. It grossed over $300 million in year one. Williams' experience with Disney Pictures was not so magical, but was so tainted he vowed never again to work for the studio because of violations on conditions he put to the use of his voice. Williams only asked the standard movie industry fee of $70,000. Williams asked that his genie voice not be used for the advertising of the movie and that the genie character not be the main focus of the advertising. First, Disney ignored the voice requirement and used his voice in advertising. Second, the genie character in the movie posters remained the same giant size but the other characters were shrunken figures to accent the genie. Robin Williams trusted Disney. While he gave the performance of his life and propelled that movie to worldwide fame, Robin Williams virtually donated his brilliant comic talent to the Walt Disney movie-making machine. But his family receives no royalties to this day. The movie will generate millions and millions for Disney for every year, for years and years to come, but not for Robin Williams' family. The lesson of this dispute is to put your contract terms and requirements in written form so that those requirements are clear and binding. Robin, I took my three young children to see this movie. I'll miss you. <laughs>